hepatitis b infection in adults most of the adults clear the hepatitis b infections the percentage is around 90 to 95% and few patients 5 to 10% will not be able to clear the infection because of their low immunity and will convert into chronic infection so they will have a lifelong hepatitis b infection of the patients who become non hepatitis b positive they will have a persistent positive hbs ag antigen and most of the patient will remain stable with no liver damage however some patients will have continuing liver damage causing cirrhosis this continuing liver damage in 10% of patient can convert into hepatocellular carcinoma the hepatitis b infection can be transferred through the placenta or during the delivery a pregnant woman can transfer this virus to her child hbs ag positive mother can have a chance which is varying from 20 to 90% of transmitting the virus higher chance occurs when there is higher viremia in the mother or she is hb e ag positive causing higher infectivity if she is hb e ag positive the risk of transmitting the virus to the baby is around 90% so she can transmit the virus to her baby to prevent the transmission of the virus to the baby we give immunoglobulins to the baby which prevents the transmission of the virus to the baby if the virus get transmitted to the baby the picture is diametrically opposite to that which occurs in adult in babies the virus has higher risk of converting into a chronic form around 90 to 95% however few babies can clear it so they have a higher risk of becoming chronic hepatitis b positive and higher risk of converting into cirrhosis of the liver requiring liver transplant at a young age hepatitis c c for chronic so 60 around patients can develop a chronic form of hepatitis b however some patients can also clear hepatitis c infection many patients will remain stable with hepatitis c however some can develop cirrhosis there is effective treatment available for hepatitis c and there is a effective vaccine available for hepatitis b but vice versa is not true 